Hello Champlin, the holiday season is upon us. Are you prepared to travel safely as you go about visiting friends and loved ones? The weather outside may occasionally be frightful, but your winter drive doesn't have to be. And your Champlin police officers in conjunction with Austin's repair shop at Champlin have some safety tips for you this winter season. Do you have a vehicle emergency kit in case you get caught out in a winter blizzard? Emergency services, including tow trucks, can get overwhelmed in severe winter weather. While perhaps most of your winter traveling will be kept to more urban and occupied areas, if you're traveling outside and through more rural areas, we suggest having these items with you in case you get stuck. According to FEMA, Ready.gov, and the Minnesota Safety Council, these are the top items to have in your emergency vehicle kit. A bag or container to put your emergency kit items in. Jumper cables, a cell phone charger. Try not to turn off your cell phone unless you absolutely have to to save battery. First aid kit, ice scraper, folding shovel, hand warmers, gloves, jacket, a hat. Remember, 40% of your body heat is lost from the head, and it's never a bad idea to keep a spare pair of socks to either layer up or replace a wet pair. Warm winter waterproof boots and boot chains, blanket, flashlight with spare batteries, LED safety strobe lights in lieu of the traditional flame flares, a fire starter, matches, or lighter, but be cautious using an open flame. Remember fire safety. Emergency whistle, water and snacks, and or Ziploc bags to put snow in that can be melted for drinking water. Remember to never eat snow as it will reduce your core body temperature. Tow ropes, reflective or bright bandana or clothing to use as a distress signal or make yourself more visible. Physical hard copy map in case your phone dies. Cat litter or sand to get extra traction. You can also pull your floor mats out and place under your tires for extra traction if you get stuck. Easy on the accelerator when using this tactic so they don't fly out once your tire starts turning. And share your travel plans, destinations, leaving and arrival times, and preferred routes with a trusted person who can act on your behalf in a worst case scenario. Put yourself in the mindset that a half tank of gas is the new empty. Filling up any time you hit the halfway mark will help keep your car from running out of gas in an emergency. If you need to get it started to stay warm, if you're stuck, and or help comes along to pull you out. If you get stuck in the snow, make sure your exhaust tailpipe is cleared to prevent the backup of exhaust fumes. Make sure your tires have ample tread for traction. Stay with your car. In severe weather, you could become disoriented and lost and much more difficult to find. Speaking of the car specifically, here's Tyler with Austin's Repair Shop at Champlin to show you how to check your tire tread and do a very simple, basic vehicle inspection prior to any holiday road trips. Hi, I'm Tyler Thurnell. I work here at Austin's Pro Care right off of 169. And I'm gonna be showing you how to check all the fluids and maintenance on your vehicle. So, check your tire tread, press it flat, push the top down, and do the same thing on the inside. We need to tell if your battery is good or not, is to look at the connections. Most commonly, like this battery, you get a bunch of white powder, blue, whatever it is. It's gonna be acid from inside the battery indicating that it's not good. If you do need to jump start your vehicle, you're either gonna have terminals on top or on the sides of the battery. You always wanna make sure black jumper cable on the negative, red on the positive. It's always gonna be marked on the battery. If not, you're gonna have red cables going to the positive, black going to the negative. Just to check the oil, you're gonna have a yellow eyelid. You're gonna pull the dipstick out, wipe it off completely, make sure there's nothing on it. Stick it back in there, push it all the way down, pull it up, and you're gonna hold it sideways. There's gonna be a minimum dot and a maximum dot. And now there's no oil in this motor, but you're gonna want it right between, if not on the higher side coolant gets hot. It's going to be about 200 degrees, if not more or less, so it will burn you. You never want to open the radiator cap when the vehicle is warm. A good way to tell by that, you kind of put your hand on it, it feels warm. Now granted, most of these are going to get very hot, so I wouldn't recommend just grabbing it. Grab the radiator hose. If it's firm, there's pressure on it, it's going to be hot. You don't want to open it. Every vehicle is going to have washer fluid. Most commonly, it's underneath the hood, either on the passenger side, up here, really anywhere, it will have an indicator or it will say washer fluid only. 